Hey everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars, Green Planet. Last video made some big changes in the map. We got a bunch of stuff going. Hey, hey, got whacked by, I'm guessing, a meteor. Um, yeah, I can, I'll send uh, my RC commander over here. In fact, ooh, that's not a terrible idea. With all the metals that are over here, I could just drop down a metals depot for SMGs. And then just have the Hey Hey's collect stuff there. Um, we got our magnetic field generators going. And thankfully we're not getting at any atmosphere loss in it right now, so this is pretty good. Uh, temperatures are going to pass 50% in this video, so we may not get this cold wave. And I'm hoping that it actually starts to thaw this terrain out, because this is a wonderful spot to drop down a Megadome and do some research over here once I start bringing colonists down. Of course, my goal is to get as far as I can on the... Oh, look at the meat here. I want to get as far as I can on the research before I start bringing folks down. Um, it's very, very helpful that I've got plenty of seeds out there, and hopefully I can start improving the soil quality enough where I can plant some extra fun stuff. Let's jump into the research, take a look at what we got going right now. We're doing mega satellites first to launch the space mirror to improve temperature and the magnetic shield to decrease the loss in atmosphere. Then from there, we'll go into nuclear terraforming, microfusion, and large-scale extraction. Doing a lot of high-end projects for this. Adaptive vegetation, it's right there. It's on my list. There's also the core heat convector. This will really increase uh, the temperature on Mars. But the atmosphere is really what I need to get uh, cranked up here. I do, at some point, want to get the social and biotech uh, trees all the way down to the bottom so I can just research those end things. Then when I bring people down, it'll be fine. Have plenty of waste rock scattered throughout the colony. I have about 14,000 of it. And get this, are you sitting down right now? Because so am I. Usually when I record, I'm standing up. But my wife is working from home this week, and she's using my monitors on my gaming setup, which is totally fine, because I love my wife, obviously. Um, she's utilizing it, and... She sits down when she works, so it's really neat for me that I'm actually being able to sit down and record, because usually this is not how I do it. It's usually done via... Um, I'm usually... My desk is an adjustable one, and I'm usually standing up for all this, so... Kind of neat to change things up a bit. Um, this has already been leveled out, so I got my dozers over here. They're going to be clearing this out. I know some comments like, oh, leave every don't flatten everything. I'm going to flatten as much as I can on this. I've still got the edges. I can, you know, not flatten out. Um, got a heavy drone load here, which is fine. I'm updating, I'm upgrading everything polymer-wise for that. And I should go metals for polymer soon, I think. <clears throat> uh, ooh, Meteor Storm is on, is coming. Let's see where they're coming down at. Right where Hey Hey is. Love it. Go ahead and pop a couple drones out here. And, uh, hopefully Hey Hey's. Well, uh, oh wow. Can you just grab this one? There's 50 right the hell here. Hopefully my shuttles will come up and grab it. My global load on the shuttles are low. That's good. And compact hangers would be a cool thing I can research. Uh, outsourcing is pretty much done, so I'll order up some more outsourcing. You also need to adjust my mouse real quick. Come on. Give me some spinning. Give me something to work with. Downside of uh, sharing a workspace is she has a laptop. I do not. No more recurring cold waves. Cool. It actually turned off that cold wave that was coming in. Awesome stuff. Funding received. Neat. All right. So um, this drone hub is just going to do its thing. It's going to gather up all the uh, metals. Then hopefully I can just set it at like five. That way the shuttles will come collect it all and move it elsewhere. All right, so we got that going, we got that going. China's going to scan an anomaly, good for them. Now, hopefully, this cold terrain will start to... Uh, pure rains are now possible. Sweet. Pure rains are actually really, really helpful for us. Um, what is greatly beneficial to plants, it'll improve the soil quality when it occurs. So I think cloud seeding is a project that I have not unlocked yet, and I'd love to get that one going. I'm not going to do any of the seed vegetations until I get us up as close to 40% as possible. 
because I really, really don't want to uh, capture ice asteroids. Nope, that one's going. Greenhouse gases, don't want to do that Funding one. Received. Yeah, I don't want to do any of these projects right now. I'm going to keep this one here in case a capture meteors pops up. And I will also move the desired amount of waste rock to 5 or 10 on each of these. That way the waste rock will get carried over to this site. That was a comment you could put that in. I don't have my iPad in front of me, so I cannot give you credit. I apologize now. <clears throat> I'm thinking I need some big seed storage somewhere. You know what? Let's just switch this for metals to polymers. Storage for seeds. Put it right there. There we go. That's a trade offer. <clears throat> All right. Water's going to increase to 82% here in a second. Awesome. Two buildings damaged, uh, two turbines. That's fine. No, that's a really good. Uh... For a Mars Quake, I'm okay with that. That's like the best outcome I could have gotten. Um, actually, I'm going to send this rocket back. I want to bring up some more machine parts. And I want to start upgrading the mole hole mine, if I can. Should have actually loaded some uh, goods onto him. That was the hindsight thing there. Let's go ahead and do some outsourcing. Now north of 4,000 research per soul. I like it. Uh, let's see. None of these things over here, unfortunately, like, oh, these are things I desperately need right now. Um, hmm. That'd be a cool one to get, but at the same time, I've got so much waste rock, I don't think I need it. And I'm thinking farms are going to be absolutely useless uh, when I start to uh, bring stuff out, because 70% temperature? Yeah, we're going to get it. Really soon, actually. That uh, core heater, though, that is just a cool thing to have. Great dust storm approaching. Dust storms? When are those? St st uh, knock it the hell off. Dust storms in at 50% atmosphere. I'm not going to get it before that dust storm starts. It kind of sucks. But we're also going to get blue skies at 50%. Uh, meteor storms end at 80%, so I really got to do as much as I can before, between now and then. Breathable atmosphere at 95.50. Sustainable mixed trees. We're going to get a wild vegetation bloom here soon, so that's good. That's the next big thing for us. It's going to be the clear skies and the vegetation bloom. I'm thinking that more vegetation or uh, seed veg will be going. Here we go. Those are capture meteors. Like, export does not do anything but export. I'll totally send also not dragon for a meteor mission. You're heading back. Nothing right now. All right. We're doing good right now. I'm, I'm really happy with how this colony is going so far. You know me, I would love to bring down people sooner. It's just a matter of, okay, when should I? And I think I don't want to do it until, like, this one. If I wait until I get 100% on everything... We're going to be here for a few more weeks. And then we still have the mystery to do, too, mind you. For the... But getting these up and getting especially this one, the atmosphere is... Oh, I need another magnetic shield. Funding received. Okay. And I'm going to drop a scrubber in between these guys and actually drop a scrubber and not a sensor tower. Because, yeah, I, I saw me doing that. That was a dumb thing me did. I'm just going to go ahead and put, like, 20 electronics requested here. Hmm. Interesting that we don't have a lot of metals over here. Are we going up to... Yes, Good. We're grabbing all these metals, because there should not be this much over here. I like it. Why are you taking them over there? They're needed here. 
Yeah, they'll figure it out. U.S. almost offering a one-for-one one on polymers. I love it. So, since cold waves are done, I could get rid of these guys. Because they're no longer needed if, since uh, we've warmed up the planet enough. I can just get rid of those guys. Yeah. 58% of the mega satellites. I'm actually running into my head what I should do here. Should I? Wow, those shuttles are brave just going through that dust devil. Oh. Dirty pool. Yeah, so much of these water tanks pulling. These water tanks are barely pulling anything. I love it. Another lake would help us. Uh, get everything up and running. You need a much, much larger area of uh, service. This isn't connected, though. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, wow. I did not realize. It. Okay. Oh, okay, the solar panels work during the day. That was odd. I may. This is another reason I want to thicken up the atmosphere more is because the wind turbines get a huge boost. I may put microfusion off. Don't get me wrong, I really love the idea of getting it up and running, but I'm really wondering if this is hooked up first. <laughs> okay, it is connected. Awesome. And each of these produces 516 research per soul. So we're getting a lot more research. Um, atmosphere loss is down to zero again. I'll probably just put a bunch of these uh, mag field generators down. That'll be enough. That rocket that went to Earth a while ago. I need to start doing some export or doing some imports. Both of those rockets that I'm bringing up right now, I will allow exports on them to kind of recoup what I'm spending. Get that going. So, mega satellites at 68%. Another reason I want to get uh, the molehole mine done up is that I can get more rare metals out. I think it goes to 24. Now, once it's done, and that's the only rare metal. Oh, I got this one too, but that one's almost finished. I got some rare metals out here. Do I need to go for this rare metals deposit? Actually, it's the one over here I want to get my hands on. Hmm. I also got water hookups. Well, I don't need the water, that's a thing. Let me go ahead and move this guy over here. I'll drop. I'm gonna drop a uni uh, down here. Fuel off, food off, rares off. Everything else I'm okay with, actually. <clears throat> All right, doing this. Accept it. I have enough power stored up. See, so yeah, I've got twenty-five thousand in the grid, so I'm okay if I'm losing eighty during the overnight hours. Let's go and look at the extractors. So these take five. These take five. And these take 1.8, but that's actually let's kick to 12 just for safety's sake, because they're going to be working heavy duty uh, loads. Um, oh, I got my rockets on site. Yeah, I want to build another mining outpost up there, because that'll easily uh, supplement what I've got here. Okay, good for them. <clears throat> Granted, with this dust storm that's coming down, this is going to throw things off a bit. Oh yeah, I need to power that thing too. Whoops. And they still brought fuel up. Stupid. Yeah, as soon as this power is up, I'll actually move this metals depot.
Yeah, as soon as one goes online, it'll all hook up. There we go. Hey, cool. Hey, hey, and hey, hey, we're bringing stuff over. I like it. Let's make that desired amount to be five. Funding received. No, thankfully the hey, hey's are doing their thing. Dust storm's going, so... Oh, whoa. Oh, damn, one of my mag fields got hit. Dang. Okay, so it was actually a localized Mars quake that damaged everything. Ain't that a kick in the head? <clears throat> and without the nearby metals, <clears throat> we're up a minor shit creek. <clears throat> Not to worry though. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start planning uh, this new. Deposit field over here. Four, nine, I think that's the most I can get in here. Go ahead and drop the scrubbers down because we're going to need at least. I'm going to do three. That set up. I'll do the same thing over here. Get a little messier with this one. I still get nine. Okay. One. Two and three. And then we'll do a metals extractor. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four. No, I only get eight here. Huh. I guess it's the dimensions on the. It's the dimensions on these ones that throw it all off. I'll go ahead and let these ones uh start being built. I'm not going to hook any of them in for obvious reasons. Uh, I do not have enough power to support this grid. More wind turbines would be needed for this. Plus, you know, getting these two going by themselves, and all they're hooking up to is a thing that needs three power. Oh, yeah. Absolutely gonna need meteors over here, or uh, MDSs over here. So let's... I'll pop one down. I'm not concerned about the life support thing, because we don't have to worry about the leaks. We don't have people. Alright, as much as I'd like to keep building these next to each other, I think it's actually a liability to do so. So I'm probably going to spread these out. I'll probably build them out over in this area. But like one here, one here. If the forestation plants go offline, it is a bit of a tragedy, but I think that's the best way I can do it. Go ahead and build another one of those up. Build it next to my drone hub. I think this has... Yeah, that has an MDS Research on site. Complete. Sweet! Mag set. Magnetic shields. Ooh, this one takes... Hmm. Ooh, wow. Space mirror really helps, but it will take my... It will take my rockets. I don't want that. Allow exports on both of these. Granted, losing 23 water right now, I'm not big on it. And at least also not Dragon 2 it is not going anywhere. Who's nearby? 
You are nowhere nearby. All three of you are up here. Super. Resources are low. Uh huh. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll worry about that when I have people. Um, if I drop some frames there, I just got an encoding overload notification. I only have this open and OBS. <clears throat> There's a lot of materials on both these guys that need to be moved. Okay, dust storm. Okay, dust storm's done. Good. Now, of course, this uh, project is sending everything it can. Okay, they're all in range. Did not even check that when I started building this project. That's an offer I'll take. To quote Robocop, I'd buy that for a dollar. There we go. How much do you have on board? Grab everything. Also, not Dragon will stay here and do some stuff. <clears throat> Uh, just go ahead and dump that anywhere. The drones will come clean it up for you. Okay, let me take a look at the extractors real quick. Who's, who's run dry? You did? Okay, cool. How much did I get? I pulled 1,500 out of, 1,500 concrete out of that, so I'm, I'm good on that front. I'm happy with that. 15 of 30, you have 17 of 30. Just dump them somewhere. Yeah. Automate. Yeah, you're good to go. You're gonna wait for a bit. Funding received. That was very weird. Like he was just waiting for something to do. Yeah, this rocket's still clearing the atmosphere. There we go. <coughs> <clears throat> All right. These guys. Look at that. I'm very happy with that. Oh, you're fully loaded? Get out. You have another gerb. Import crease house gases, space mirror, study satellites, bank shield. Mm. Alright, none of those are really appealing to me. And since I have superior cables, it's like the second they get hooked up, they'll be fine. I'm also going to need to math out how much I'm going to need power-wise to get these operational before I even hook up anything. I actually cannot do this. Oh, I can. Whoops. Blue skies! No more recurring dust storms. Look at that. That's a nice-looking map. I still have work to do on it. Okay. So I'm gonna do this, this. Can't do those manually, kinda sucks. Boop, boop, boop. This I have to do manually, unfortunately. Funding received. And I have to do this manually too. That's unfortunate. I like this, I like the other, uh, this alternate version of it. Thought I took care of that one. Good trade offer, I'll take it. I could actually bring fuel up here and fuel the extractors, but that just seems like a dumb thing to do. Alright, um... 
funding received. Let's go ahead and why don't we down many more turbines up here? This, 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 water, water, dirt. Yeah, we'll keep also not dragon local. Okay. They're all going to need maintenance, I think, before... Oh, whoa. Hang on. Did not realize I'd burn through all of my electronics. Whoops. That was my mistake. Which also explains why I don't have any more scrubbers operational. Uh -oh. oh, I forgot about this guy. He's taking up a bunch of them. You... Yeah, do you know, just head back. Look at that, we've got a bunch of seeds stocked up. This is going smooth. I may actually put some seed plant, uh, vegetation plants up here. Funding received. This, 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 change skin. And so these are producing, without even polymers, they're producing 17 power. So one of these will will take care of three. Or one of them will take care of one scrubber. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine up there. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. It's going to be close. I may have a little bit of a brownout issue, but I think uh, I can easily drop down more plus... In the meantime, let's drop down some more batteries in case I hook. In case I do not hook this all up right away, I can start uh, charging those batteries up. And they still brought in. They still even brought food, huh? Yeah, okay, storage is Rare metals to do there. We'll bring down more polymers. We got a rocket coming in with a bunch of electronics. Let's also bring down a bunch of machine parts. Totally wish I could do that faster than I currently do. Um, oh, we've already burned through our resourcing again. I'll be. Oh, yeah, because we've already got that done. Um, this is terraforming amplification. It's essentially the amplify upgrade on all our terraforming stuff. I like it. That's what the restack's going to be for now. Uh, nuclear terraforming, adaptive vegetation, because I want the trees and bushes, because those will actually give me more seeds. Um, and also there's going to be a flat research boost at one point. Terraforming amplification, this will uh, let us amplify the carbonate processors, the mag field generators, the GHG factories to increase their production. Excavator, obvious. Orbital engineering, if I need to bring stuff down, I need to start bringing it down faster than with rockets. I think I made a mistake by not uh, doing those sooner. Um, where's it close by, hey, hey? Oh, you are actually pretty close. Well, close on a planetary scale. Turn you off automate, come dump everything you got. Um, some of these electronics hopefully will be just taken right up here and we'll be good to go. All right, I'm seeing I'm very close to the 30 minute mark, so that's a good thing. Because I think this is an episode where much was accomplished, although it didn't seem like it. We got a lot done. We got a new little uh, mining outpost done. And this is also, this is 2200 here, this is 1800 up here, this is 1500 up here. 
Fun this is a high and... deposit. This is a this is a very low deposit. It's only doing two point one. Yeah, very low quality deposit. All right. So yeah, just a little bit of concrete. We'll get this one going. Unfortunately, the concrete that's being delivered now has to go for these projects. Um, metals are being delivered for this, and the electronics are being delivered for the scrubbers. Once this is all in line, I think we're going to be really set um, for metals and rare metals, because this number was at 1,000 at the beginning of the episode. It has dipped down south of 900. Um, did not start on this project, unfortunately. That's, that's, a, that's a tragedy. Go ahead and load that up, please. They are connecting dust, which kind of sucks. Um, let's see. Let's just drop a concrete depot, and I need like 60 concrete up here ASAP. Okay, go ahead and just dump that off. I'm going to forbid exports on Phoenix 1. The reason for Phoenix 1 is there is a Capture Ice Asteroids expedition available. Thankfully, it already has all the machine parts it'll need. Oh, did I screw it up again? Funding received. Yeah, I think I did. Whoops. Oh dear. Pop out 10 more drones. Yeah, we are going to have to take fuel on board and take off the machine parts. That'll work. Um, this will actually work. Because the amount of fuel that has to go on board is roughly equal to the number of machine parts that need to come off. Hmm. Roughly the same. Uh, I'm going to put a cut in here. Um, this whole complex looks like it's online. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Actually, ooh, wow. Um, next video, I will hook all of this up. But for now, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come on my channel. Hopefully you had a good Thanksgiving. I'll see you all. Uh-oh. Hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.